in the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful, to whom we all have to turn back. Honorable listeners and respectable audience, you know that we have started a series of linguistics. In linguistics, we commenced the chapter that is known as discourse analysis. I told you about discourse that discourse is the use of language for communication. It can be in written form or in spoken form. On the other hand, discourse analysis is the in-depth examination or investigation of a written or a spoken discourse. Today, I am going to teach you critical discourse analysis. What is critical discourse analysis? What is the basic M of critical discourse analysis? And what are some practical examples of discourse, critical discourse analysis? Listeners and ideas, before going to define and explain critical discourse analysis, let me tell you about the three terms because if you have clear concepts uh, or concept about these three terms, so then critical discourse analysis will be uh, a piece of cake for you. It means it will be easy for you. So let's come to the word critic. Critic mean hidden here. Critic mean hidden or concealed and the word discourse discourse here means any written or spoken conversation it can be a text or a spoken discourse conversation and when we are talking about analysis analysis mean examination investigation okay now, listeners and audience, come to the definition of critical discourse analysis. That what critical discourse analysis is. Critical discourse analysis is the type of discourse analysis which is used to expose the relationship between language and power. Critical discourse analysis focuses to uncover that how language is used to construct and maintain inequalities, power, and also injustice in the society. It means it tells us that how language is used to construct and maintain social injustice, inequalities, cruelties in a society. It tells us that language is not neutral. critical discourse analysis it, it is further talking about that how language is used to represent a thing to others to represent a nation to others how language represent uh, one nation to others listeners and ideas to make it short and our easiest words, critical discourse analysis is the type of discourse analysis which is used to uncover that how language is used to construct and maintain a hidden meanings, social injustice, cruelties and power in the society. Now, let me elaborate all these points one by one. As I told you that 
critical discourse analysis is used to uncover uh, to uncover the social injustice in the society social inequality in the society now the question arises what is mean by social injustice or hidden inequalities in the society so listeners and audience whenever we are talking about social inequalities or injustice in the society it it can be gender discrimination gender inequality feminism and racism and so many others example let me provide first example of uh, gender inequality remember that in critical discourse analysis you analyze the whole text but i'm just presenting two sentences from part a and from and from part b that you just understand it for example a and b what does a say for example a is a man is a man what he says sorry for uh, sharing this example women are only uh emotional they are big biting and cursing others this is the statement of a it means men now what is the statement of woman b men are just playing the games and wasting a lot of time just going to park and here and there they are doing nothing so listeners and audience from this example you see that both the men and similarly the women they have grown up in a society where there is gender inequality so this is actually the critical discourse analysis of the two statements which i uh, share with you this is one example another example i'm sharing with you is take the example of statement a only white people they have the capacity the ability to maintain justice in the society so now see this is the statement of so what the white people the white person for example representing the white people now be black people they have better capacity than uh, than white people so again you see here racism is there racism is there based on based on their colors one tribe considered themselves better than based on their color so listeners and audiences here you see what is there uh, racism is there and so many examples are there similarly as i told you that critical discourse analysis is used to uncover uh social injustice and inequality that how uh, power is maintained through language you see power is maintained through language two examples can be there one example is let's come to politician you see how a politician he makes the use of language to divide a society or to to create a social division in the society so that's why we say that language is not neutral but whenever it is spoken it is uttered definitely it has influence over others so as a politician due to his political uh, speech and campaign he influences other convinces other due to uh, his speech so 
he uh, makes division in the society due to his political campaign and speech so so many people they uh, follow him and even vote him so this is one example another example uh, related to if there is a war unfortunately between two country two countries so how language is used to maintain power so one the 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 president of one country makes the use of such language to influence his people that they are on the right path while they represent other nations other people as a cruel due to uh their language so the the analyst and critical discourse analyst and researchers they find out dig out uncover disclose all these to the common people and the society so such kind of study that is called critical discourse analysis so hope that now your concept about critical discourse analysis is clear thank you